It was a lovely birthday present, Letty. Oh, I'm sorry, Bunny. It would have been a better present if I could have gotten into the shops yesterday. No, no, a box of handkerchiefs was just what I wanted. Oh, I'll get you something on Monday, Bunny. Oh, Patrick, I don't want you putting yourself to any trouble. If all the inspectors let us get away any earlier, I really am sorry. So am I, Bunny. About the party as well. But we couldn't have gone ahead with it, could we? No, that's what I said. We'd have to cancel my birthday party. I don't mind. I'm not upset. Yeah, I did see why. We couldn't have gone ahead with it, I mean. The man came here and none of us knew. Tried to rob us and almost killed Aunt Letty. And just because he got what he deserves, you decide poor Bunny has to suffer. I can't believe even you can be so insensitive, Patrick. Oh, I can be quite sensitive sometimes. I mean, I have noticed the way you and Edmund sweating and look at each other. What's wrong, Patrick? Are you jealous? What's this, a lover's tip? <laughs> it most certainly isn't that. Be careful, darling. You know what they say about a lady who doth protest too much. Oh, oh, please, please, please don't argue. What with all this... Devastating business, the shooting, all the questions. I've got the most thumping headache. And why don't you take something for it, Bunny dear? No, no. I'm quite able to cope. Mm, Now, don't be silly. Well, I can't find my aspirin, Letty. Look, there's some aspirins by my bedside table. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quite capable of withstanding the pain. Yes, I'm sure you are, but why suffer? Well... Shall I go? No, no, the least I can do is get them myself. <clears throat> oh, my poor, poor head. You do know her really well, don't you? I'm surprised she lasted out so long without mentioning the headache. But you said she developed a sinker and you were right. It's a pity. Why well, couldn't I go to her to me? She's been looking forward to it so much. I'm just glad it was her decision to cancel it. That... Yeah, where's the harm? Well, I suppose we could just have the cake with tea and sort of turn it into a little, you know, sort of a party for the family. Oh, it's you up no end. Oh, just the tea and wheat at party. <laughs> oh, blast you. You're making me feel so dreadful. Oh, I'll buy you a milk stout right at the pub. Go away. <gasps> well, we've got to have tea anyway, so why not? Oh, yes. good. Go and tell Julia, Patrick. Oh, and tell Lizzie we're going to have the cake after all. Okay. We'll have a drink. Philippa? Yes? I don't mean to be inquisitive, but there's something worrying you, isn't there? Well, is it anything to do with your son? No, no, he's fine. He loves his school. The fees, well, obviously, they're a bit of a problem. Ah, oh, then there is something. It would be all right. Look, anything you say will be taken in the strictest confidence. There's nothing to tell, really. Very well. I have something to tell you that I think may help ease your worries. But there's nothing I can't cope with. Look, I know you're very independent, Philippa, and I can't help you much now, but, well, maybe soon... Oh, but please, Letty, don't give it another thought. I shall be able to manage. Look, I want you to know, I went to see my solicitors yesterday. I'm changing my will. Now, apart from Bunny's legacy... Everything now goes to you. Me? You can't be serious. Oh, yes, I am. It's all in hand. But I don't want it. You mustn't do that. What What about Patrick and Julia? Well, they have no claim on me. You are now the main beneficiary. Why? Why are you telling me this? Well, I don't think it does any harm to let anybody know I'm changing my will. I can't let you do it. Look, believe me, Philippa, there's a very good reason that I'm doing this. Now, if I die now... You won't get much, but if I live, well, you're going to come into a lot of money one day soon. Die? You're not going to die. Well, you never know. But you can't can't die. Get out. Miss Michael, Miss Greenwood, and Edward Swettenham. Thank you. Ah, oh, Miss Marple, Clara. How lovely to see you. Um, there's nothing wrong, is there? Wrong? Oh, I suppose when the three of us do turn up here, it does seem as though trouble isn't far behind. Well, I certainly hope it is. I've had enough for one weekend. Oh, oh it's all my fault turning up like this. I walked round to uh, Edmund and Clara to suggest it. I hope you don't mind. Um, but it seems such a shame, Miss Bunner having to cancel her party. We thought we'd bring a little present each. 
Well, but I'm afraid we haven't got anything very exciting. Oh, well, how, how kind. Oh, we want to stay. Oh, no, but you must stay. Missus made one of her special cases, and I know Bunny would be so pleased. Oh, we'd love to. <laughs> Thank you. Well, of course, if it's all right with you, Philippa. Oh, yes, of course it's all right. Oh, OK. Lovely. Do sit down. Well, it looks as if we're going to have a party, after all. Oh, we're just going to have the cake and tea, Julia. Oh, by the way, Miss Blacklock, did you find the honey? Oh, yes, Clara. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, I came into the back door, but I couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, how silly of me for forgetting it in the first place. Got all the way home before we noticed, didn't we, Edmund? Oh, well, I'm sure we could have left until some other time. Mm. But it was your idea. Well, actually, we did need it. Missy always uses honey in her special case. You see? Mm. Well, Miss Marple, it looks like this time you'll be in at the kill. Oh, don't say things like that, Edmund. That's something we'd all rather forget. Well, how can we? It's by no means over. I'm afraid you're right, Edmund. Oh, but I'm sure that the inspector is satisfied. I don't think he is. No, he thinks someone paid Rudy's shirt to kill Aunt Letty. And he'll try again. Oh, Patrick, you really shouldn't have mentioned that. Well, doesn't that put all of us under suspicion? Well, I'm afraid Inspector Craddock has to include all of us here now. Yes, and how long were you in the hall, Miss Marple? We only have your word for it. You was coming to the drive when the shots were fired. My dear boy, I'm sure I'm very high on his list. Oh, really? And you seem to get on so well with him. I think he finds me mildly amusing. <laughs> Patrick, why don't you go and see if Bunny's coming? Oh, but surely there's not going to be any more unpleasantness. Oh, and by that, do you mean any more murders, Clara? <laughs> oh. Do you have to? Look, um, let's just forget about it, shall we? And let's just try and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> She's going. Oh, She's going. Happy birthday! the cake with some tea, Bunny. Oh, what a lovely surprise. And I brought you a little something to wish you a very happy birthday. Oh, oh how nice. kind. I'm afraid it's only handkerchiefs. Yeah. Well, lovely thought. Thank you. Oh. oh, it's only apples from the garden. Oh, what a lovely thought. And I brought you some honey. Well, but I'm afraid the bees aren't so busy right now, so I'm afraid it's only uh, half a jar. Oh, well, can't be helped. I really must take these aspirins. I've still got such a terrible headache. Oh, Patrick, put some water on the sideboard there. Oh, aren't I silly having a headache on my birthday? Oh, thank oh, you. You'll soon feel better, Bunny. Oh, 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 oh what a magnificent Hey, yeah. I excel myself. I put in a secret ingredient to make it a little bit more special. To give have it you, that extra bit of flavor. Have you noticed the candle, Bunny? Yes. yes. Only one. Oh, well, there isn't room for all 21 candles. You have to blow out the candle now, Bunny. Bunny? Yes, what are you wishing for, Bunny? I'm not telling you, it won't come true. <laughs> if I were you, I would wish him dead. Oh, yes, if you weren't my sister. Good <laughs> I am. Oh, someone back for that. <laughs> Delicious death. 